What is up, fellow fans of Clash of Clans? It's your host, Galadon. Thank you guys so much for stopping by today. The first in the series of mass attacks. We're talking about mass dragon attacks. That is nothing but camps full of dragons. Now, early on in the beginning of night mode, we kind of felt like this might end up being the meta. Like, dragons were just going to be completely overpowered. And since they have been toned down a little bit, but if you can use that tantrum ability just right, then baby dragons are still very powerful. And there are a lot of top global players that use almost exclusively these mass dragon attacks. Now, while it might seem a little bit like dragon spam, it is actually far from it. And of all the units that you're going to be using just camps of, say, one unit, the baby dragon is the most critical in that placement because you want to get that rage ability, it's called tantrum, you want to get that by placing those baby dragons just far enough apart so that they can all have it as long as possible and that really is the key to success in this attack. So right here, Dal from Night Mode Clash doing a great job of the late hero deployment. There's almost nothing left to this village. By the time the battle machine is in, there is nothing to stop him. He takes down everything easily and it ends up with a rare maxed out defenses three star win. Now, of course, three stars, especially at Builder Hall 6 against a well-designed base are very unusual. You just don't see a lot of it happening. The balance is pretty good up here to keep people from getting three star, but every now and then, and check it out right here, as this is Dow defending and every single one of those baby dragons at the beginning of that attack was enraged at least through the first building that it was going after. Now they're closing in on this base. And as you can see quickly, doesn't look good. Over half the base down right here. Again, this is a late battle machine deployment use of the baby dragon. They're gonna get through the crusher on the left hand side. The crusher on the right is almost down. One baby dragon remains. And here comes the battle machine. He will one shot the crusher. One last baby dragon moving in maybe just a little bit early. Had it come in a little bit later, it might have survived through the air bombs right here. But who am I to criticize this guy attacking? Nara from La Taverne is going to end up three-starring this base, you guys. Right here, it just doesn't seem likely with like six or eight structures left. But the battle machine, especially at level 10, and with that regenerative ability right there, he is going to be able to easily withstand the damage from the roaster and from that archer tower on the right-hand side and get through the rest of these buildings. Now, another thing about mass dragons. At Builder Hall 5, it's actually pretty common right there to use it, and I feel like that's probably the best spot for it right now. At Builder Hall 6, it is usually, despite the fact that I'm showing a lot of these amazing replays, it's usually utilized as a high percentage one-star attack with players that feel like they can hold off a two-star on their own base. Now, we just talked about Bomb Barge the other day, the low percentage two-star strategy, but quickly, it's amazing how things are evolving right now. As attack metas change, building defense metas are also changing, and it's like a daily thing right now, especially at Builder Hall 6. You were seeing a change of the attack strategies, the base is adjusting, and it's just going to be a cycle until we see another update or a balancing but in the meantime, I feel like this is pretty healthy. Imagine if it were this difficult to grab two stars back at the home village. That would make attacking and trophy pushing a completely different setup than it is right now. I kind of miss those old days where when you're trophy pushing, you could lose a battle every day or two at least. Nowadays, much harder to lose than it used to be. So right here, we are seeing again the delayed battle machine technique. Dow sending it in from a distance, hitting that ability right away. That's going to allow that ability to regenerate by the time the battle machine gets in there. He goes right after the Builder Hall first. There you see the second ability was available right after it used those first strikes. And although this isn't quite going to be a three star, a very solid attack and almost certainly a win for Dow with an 89% two star. Now, again, you guys, trying to remind you that at Builder Hall 6, against good bases, these are exceptions to the rule. I'm not showing you the average attack, but, I mean, who wants to see that? They're not that exciting. 62, 65% one star is what you see a lot of the time with mass dragons. But here's an unusual base, all right? So Nick from Night Mode Clash is, is taking a long time to try to figure out what is going on with this base. And it looks like he's going with all dragons and 10 minions. 
right? As you see, it says that the battle has begun, but he's actually switching over to a complete set of dragons, no minions whatsoever. And really, this is the thing about unusual bases. Maybe one player comes up with a base that works consistently. The thing is, is it's just going to spread like a virus. If one guy starts winning with a base, it's just a matter of time before the base is all over. And uh, you know, I mean, if you want to keep a secret, that's the thing you have to remember. You just tell that one friend. You just tell your one friend your deepest, darkest secret and tell them not to tell anybody. Well, your one friend decides that maybe, maybe just telling their best friend is okay. So they're just, they're just gonna tell one person. And that person tells one person, and that person only tells one person, and uh, next week everybody at school knows your secret. So that's the thing about a secret, a little gala philosophy for you there, but it's also the thing about bases in Night Mode Clash and of course all throughout the Builder Base. If anybody's got one that's working, it's only a matter of time before A, lots of players are using it, and then almost always B, people figure out how to beat it. So can you come up with an amazing base that is going to defend against any attack? Probably not, at least not permanently. Temporarily, yes. And right here, this base looked like it might work out but Nick doing a great job of dragon deployment right here. And we're up to 80% two stars without the battle machine even being deployed yet. In comes the battle machine and just simply because of the walls, the crusher, the multi-mortar and the double cannon, there's no way that this battle machine is going to get through all of these structures, even at level 10. But he picks out these three, almost gets there and it's an 86% two star win. Now, speaking of popular bases, this I was calling the triple box base and for about three or four days, it was starting to gain in popularity. And we saw it spread again, lots of players copying it, but it wasn't long before it started to get taken down and people moved away from it. And that's the funny thing, especially about making videos these days about bases in the Builder Hall. They change so frequently that honestly, I'm just gonna tell you guys who are still here watching the video right now. Honestly, if you're seeing the video, and you're watching this base layout, chances are by the time this video is out, this base has may have already lived through its life cycle. Okay, I'm just I'm just warning you. Don't always take word for word what I say here is, oh, this is the most amazing base. And that goes for anybody who's putting videos out and telling you this base can't be beaten. Uh, any base that you use is eventually going to get beaten no matter what. It's just a matter of can you make it last? And a lot of players right now, honestly, are using what we call musical minds. They are changing the minds, the Teslas, the traps around from defense attack to attack to attack. And that's actually relatively effective. The idea that you are going to keep your opponent guessing as to if stuff is set to ground, set to air, where's the Tesla, where are the push traps, the spring traps, and maybe, just maybe, that's one way to extend the lifetime of a base. Now bless up, crush that base right there, and this is Super Texan, also from Night Mode Clash, and he is one of the big champions of mass dragon attacks. And this is basically the exact same base. Now defensive layouts can coincidentally be similar or players are using other players and as inspiration. But if you looked closely at these bases, even at the bottom right, there was the barracks surrounded by two gold mines on both players bases. So you know, and these guys aren't in the same plan, you know that there's a lot of just straight copying of bases going on. And I'm not saying that's a bad thing. I'm not saying it's cheating or anything like that. I mean, honestly, I 90% of the bases that I run are copied from another player in Night Mode Clash. I'm just going to admit it right here. So I'm not saying that there's anything wrong with that. There's not. It's just the way it's going to be. It's kind of been that way since the very beginning. If you guys remember in the very first uh, tournament, uh, Chief Pat copied Itsu's base and had some success with it. Uh, so right there, if you don't have the time to create your own base, then copying an effective base from somebody else works out just about as well. Now, maybe you're gonna gain a little bit by using a completely unique base simply because the likelihood of other players having seen it is much, much lower. All right, so Super Texan doing a great job. He's annihilated this base with the baby dragons. It looked like maybe a high percentage one star, but as you can see, the battle machine is going to avoid the crusher, move in after the builder hall, and with that regenerative ability right there, more than enough power 
to get the second star. Not quite going to grab a three, but again, uh, something like this, 89% two star, more than enough to grab a win, even at the very highest echelon of play right now at the Builder Base. So episode one of the Mass Attacks Dragons. Are they effective? The answer is yes. Let me know what other Mass Attacks you guys would like to see. Thank you as always for subscribing, commenting, liking, and coming back again tomorrow for more full attacks. That was corny, but I don't care because that's who I am. I'm corny. Thank you. Is this episode over yet? No, not quite. Oh yeah, full attack. Goodbye. Did you forget to take your medication again? Here, Gally, take your pills.